What is going on YouTube? Just getting off work and it's what 10 to 7 in the morning and the sun's just coming up. So I figured I'd film one on the way home. I haven't filmed anything in a while. I figured I'd uh, stay at work for a little bit and wait for that sun to kind of come up and catch some of that morning uh, sun. And I'm going to do a review on this jacket. I don't know if you can, how well you can see it. You can probably see the lights reflecting on it. So as that car goes by. I'm going to say this rubber side down jacket is pretty darn good. It keeps me pretty damn warm. Um, it's got like a, a thermal layer and a wind breaking layer. And the outer layer is waterproof. It comes with uh, armor in the back. Shoulders. And then the freaking elbows like I said before it's got a water bag in it I've ridden this thing I was ridden with this jacket with uh, in the rain of course it keeps it nice and dry it's been keeping me nice and warm so far I've been pretty impressed with this jacket it was definitely the money well spent fucker with this high beams thanks buddy See, I've been pretty happy with this jacket. I got, I'm glad I finally spent the money and broke down. But you know what? It was uh, my last job. I just couldn't, just wasn't making the money to uh, pay for something like that. So yeah, it was fucking money. Well, well worth it. Like I said, rubber side down. If you haven't checked them out, put a link in the description to their website. Just kind of a mom and pop shops. You know, it's not a big retail store or anything like that. But yeah, I'm finally glad I got uh, got the jacket. It's got the removable liners, like I said, there, the thermal liner and the windproof liner. And I don't feel the wind through this thing. I, I, you'll still feel the cold through it, like, it, it's, but you know, it's freaking cold outside, so you're gonna feel the cold through it no matter what. So all I can do is just layer up underneath it. You know, it's probably about 40 some odd degrees. I'm not too sure what it is out right now. I mean, it's cool. You can get me wrong, like, but it's not freezing out. I haven't had a chance to try it on a really cold, cold morning yet, but I know I'll freeze. I'll feel the cold through it. Like there's no guarantee that it's gonna keep the cold out. It's not a you know a heated jacket or anything along those lines, but it sure does its job. Wow, the sun's coming up nice and orange. We're getting lots of wind noise because I got my visor open right now. But yeah, I've gone on some pretty nice long rides in the rain in this thing on cool nights, and uh, yeah, I've been pretty damn impressed with it. You know, it's uh, fairly reflective. It's got all the pull straps. A couple of things I don't like about it, though, are... Uh, I wish the this, this zippers on the arms had either pull tabs on them or, or bigger uh, pull tabs because they're really hard. They're hard to deal with. Uh, they're, they're fumbly with your gloves on, so if I put some strings or something on there, it'll be a little bit easier, but that's really my only thing, I, I my, really my only hate about it is uh, just trying to undo this, the freaking zippers when you got gloves on, trying to keep your gloves off and stuff, right? I haven't found any other faults to the jacket yet. I, you know, it's been a great jacket. Can't complain yet. It does what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to keep me dry and kind of keep me warmer than what I had before. What I had before wasn't keeping me all that warm, so I'm pretty happy with it now, so that sky red sky in the morning sailor's day morning you guys probably can't see it but that's mount baker off in the distance there look at that that's beautiful that was one of the reasons why it took so long to work just to catch that on film i wanted to see what that looks like on film hopefully it turns out all right in about a week or two i won't even see that again until freaking 
yeah, this jacket, you know, I really can't complain. It's uh, It's got the poles right here, the Velcros. You know, the only thing is I kind of wish it this here was Velcro. And like I said, that these uh, zippers here, they had little strings or something or larger freaking tabs on them like they do on the jacket. That's really my only thing I don't like is my only complaint is that there. Oh. Stall it, idiot. <laughs> uh, nah, I guess it doesn't look as good now, so. We got that morning rush hour coming in. I think I'm glad I don't have to deal with. Work's been good, but Christmas season is coming. And you can sure tell that Christmas season is here at work because of the type of uh, booze that we get now. Like Captain Morgan's Spice Rum, they've got a Captain Morgan's Gingerbread Rum. Like, really? Gingerbread? That's hilarious. And then, of course, we've got the Spirinoff Peppermint Twist, and it smells like fucking candy canes. We've got lots of eggnog-style uh, rum and uh, liqueurs that are coming through right now. Over there is New Westminster and Annis' Island. That's where a lot of our industrial area is there. I like mornings like this where you, the sun is just starting to come up. Everything looks so cool and crisp. No snow on the mountains yet. It hasn't really been getting cold enough here, but if you go inland, there's going to be lots of snow there. Of course, I got jackass up my ass here. Down there is where I filmed uh, uh, why I ride what I ride, where those C span tugs are down there. Like I said, Christmas season's coming up, but one of the things that uh, we hate is Crown Royal. Uh, Crown Royal comes in a really messed up box, and it's hard to stock. And when you get Crown Royal, you don't get it at the beginning of your, your picks. You get it like halfway through, near the end for some stupid reason. They can't figure out how to put it first in the pick and not last or in the middle of your pick. You pick them, like 13 of the stupid boxes, and that sucks. Foggy in there. <laughs> I got to buy a pinlock. Uh, I almost came to a complete stop there. Didn't even put my feet down. Now oh, we're almost home. It's our Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. End of the week. Look at that sky. Uh, look how cool that is. Probably won't come up in my fucking GoPro, though. It never does come up. It's actually quite warm out this morning. I know some of you Americans down there in uh, California would think this is a freezing cold. I can't ride my bike in this weather. What the fuck? Up here, man, it's like a nice warm day. It is a warm day. Oh, it's all foggy up here and shit. Cool. Cool. Well, this is my least favorite intersection right here because people are always in a fucking rush. Look at that fog. No morning fog. It's weird because when you hit areas like this that are foggy, you can really feel the temperature drop. Well, I'm almost home. So which is good. And then I'll be able to crack a beer. Oh, mind you, I can't crack a beer. I'm going on a beer quest. I uh, just found some beers again that I haven't had, haven't tried. And I found out what stores they're at. So at 8.30 my time, Pacific Standard Time, I am going to go and jump on the bike and uh, head out to a store. And by the time I get there, it should be open. It should take me about half an hour, 45 minutes to get there. 
Who knows? Get some beers, race home, drink some beers, go to bed, and uh, do my Friday and uh, come home for the weekend and get all messed up over the weekend because I'm fucking up all night and I don't see any daylight. This is the only daylight I really ever get to see is what's right now, so. That's okay. Story of my life. I'm used to it now, but it's, it's starting to grind on me. The weekends are kind of grinding on me. I like, uh, whoa, buddy, just fucking sit right there, man. I like the shift. I like working the shift that I work, but I just wish I could just automatically flip come the weekend. So I'm up during the day and I'm sleeping in bed at night. And then just come Sunday, I could just flip and turn the fucking switch and go back to the graveyard life, man. That's. The weekends are kind of messing with my head on this job for this graveyard shift. I just love working the graveyard. It's fucking awesome. It's, the day goes by so fast, but yeah. Just the weekends mess me up in the head. So it'll probably come January, I might switch the days. I don't know, we'll see. All right, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Mosh all over that like button if you like this. Stage dive on that subscribe button and we'll slayer another time. Cue the music.